in this question, we want to solve for x, meaning we're wanting to calculate the number of moles of water which are attached to the copper sulfate in the hydrated version of the copper 2 sulfate molecule. To do this, we use a technique of dehydration by heating to constant mass. That's removing the water molecules to leave the dehydrated copper 2 sulfates. In the question, we were given our original mass of our copper 2 sulfate, and the original mass of the copper 2 sulfate was 6.24 grams. In the question, after dehydration, we were given a final mass of our copper sulfate as 3.99 grams. So to calculate the number of uh, the mass of water given off, we would do a simple takeaway. So we do 6.24 take away 3.99 and that gives us a mass of 2.25 grams of water. Now because we're wanting to work out the number of moles of water that were attached, we need to calculate N. To do that, we're going to be using our mass triangle. The mass of the copper sulphate that we have worked out is 3.99 and the mass of the water that we calculated was 2.25. The GFM of water 16 plus 2 for our hydrogens is 18 and the mass of our copper sulfate copper is 63.5 plus 32.1 for sulfur plus 4 times 16 for our oxygen is 64 which gives us a gfm of 159.6 to calculate the number of moles we do m divided by gfm so if I do 3.99 divided by the answer, that gives me a mass of, a uh, number of moles, sorry, of 0 0.025. And if I pop in 2.25 divided by 18, that will give me the number of moles as 0 0.125. Now, at this stage, it's really important to double check your working. And we can use our original formula to make sure at this stage we've done this correct. We can see in the original formula, we've got no letter in front of the copper sulphate, which tells us we've got a one to something ratio. This means that the lowest number of moles that we should calculate at this stage should be the copper sulphate. And we can see that this does have the lowest number of moles, which means at this stage we have done this step correct. What we want to do down here is we want to divide by the lowest number of moles. So we've got our 0 0.025 moles of our copper sulphate and we divide it by 0 0.025 because that's our lowest number of moles to get as a whole mole ratio. And if we put that in the calculator, that would come out as one. We've got 0 0.125 and we want to divide that by the lowest number of moles, which is 0 0.025. And if I pop that in the calculator, divided by... 0.025, that gives us 5. So that means that x is equal to 5. What we want to do is we want to, at the final stage, rewrite our formula. So we've got copper sulfate and we've got 5H2O. This past paper question is from the Advanced Hire 2017, written 6B, part 3, section B. The question asks us to calculate the value of Y for the hydrated version of the zinc ethanoate. So in the question, they have given us a mass of the hydrated zinc ethanoate as 5.00 grams. After heating to constant mass, we have got the dehydrated mass of zinc ethanoate as 4.18 grams. So to work out the mass of water, which had been given off during heating to constant mass, we would do 5 take away 4.18, which gives us a mass of 0 0.82 grams of water. Now, because the question wants us to work out the number of moles of water in terms of the ratio to the zinc ethanoate, we have to calculate N. We've been given a mass, so we're going to use the MNGFM triangle. The mass of the zinc ethanoate is 4.18. The mass of water was 0 0.82. Uh, water has a GFM of 18 grams. 
So to work out the GFM for our zinc ethano weight, we'll add up the bit in the bracket first. So we've got 12 plus 3 plus 12 plus 32. That equals 59. We'll multiply it by the 2. Plus the 65.4, which would give us a GFM of 183.4. To work out the number of moles, we take the mass and divide it by the GFM. So I'll do 4.18 divided by answer. And that will give me 0 0.02. And we need to make sure that we're rounding that correctly. So that'll give me 0 0.023 moles. If I do 0 0.82 and divide it by 18, you need to always remember to press SD to see if there's a recurrent, which in this case it is. So the number of moles will be 0 0.046. Now, we always divide by the lowest number of moles. What we should always double check is from our original formula, we know that we're going to have a one to something ratio, which means the lowest number of moles should always be the zinc ethanoate in this example. If we have a look, that is the case. We've got the zinc ethanoate. So at this stage, we divide both number of moles by the lowest number of moles. So 0 0.023 divided by itself will give us a ratio of 1. We've got 0 0.046 divided by 0 0.023. And if we pop that into the calculator, 0 0.046 divided by 0 0.023, that will give us a value of 2. So therefore, y has a value of 2. And we'll pop that in there. So the correct formula for this is ZN bracket CH3 COOO close bracket 2 dot 2 H2O.